Wise Link Academy. So today, what we're considering an aspect um, under Lucas problem called link mechanism. As the question goes below, and as you can see the figure at the right hand side of the screen, in the link in the mechanism shown in the figure, OA revolves anticlockwise about O, Y A B slides through the pivot block C. Draw the locus of B for for one revolution of OA. Full stop. OA is given to be forty millimeter, and AB is one four five millimeter. So let's reduce out this. Our first tax for every link mechanism problem is to reproduce out what you are given to your what is sketch part. Now, first things first, um, I'm given that OA is what the forty millimeter. So I'm going to construct out what I've seen the right hand side of the screen. So I have something like this, um, this nature. I have a long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one. I have something of this nature. Long one, short one, short one. All right. Next task is to take this vertically in this manner. I'll have a um, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one. I have this. Next task is say this is my point O here, yeah? center is O. O A is going to something, is going to what the 40. So I measure 40 with my meter rule and my compass, right? So 40 from 0 to this point here yeah, is 40 per se. I will put at the center O and draw my crank this way 40. Now this. Uh, next task, listen please, is to divide it into 12 equal parts. How? I will take my set square in this manner. Start with this one. This way. I will take this two. This. Um, Three and finally, I have this four this way. Now, listen, um, year to year, or to this point will be extraordinary taken because that's my crank OA. I'm taking it extraordinary, so here my point A. I have this. Um, next task is that I'm told that. From zero from point O to somewhere here is what the is eighty eight. So measure out eighty eight, which is here is zero to so this point is eighty eight, eighty five six seven eight, eighty eight at this point. That my point is eighty eight. I will take it downwards with a faint line. This way in this manner. I'm given that. Then if I get my point C, there is a distance downward of what, 13. So measure out 13. This is 0. Then 11, 12, 13 at this point. This is my point 13. Right? That was 13. I'll draw um, pivot of C. This is the pivot. You ask C. Pivot of C. This is my point C. Yeah. Point C, right now, I'm told that from A to B to B is 145, that's 14.5. So I'll take my meter rule. This is zero. Sorry, this is not but let me take a meter rule that's extend to 0.5. Proceeding 14.5 from here, make sure it passes through this point C. 14.5 is at this point. Then I what the I will thicken it per se. Yes. As you can see, thicken it. So here's my point B. Now we are told that we are moving what at the clockwise. If here is point, if here is A, here will be what the A1, A2, A3, um, A4, 
a5 a6 um, a7 a8 a9 a10 a11 and finally a12 per se um, what I did for a b will be done for everything such that every point will pass through c how okay we start with a1 a1 major point for 14.5 to pass through um, c 14.5 is pointing from 5 at this point the faint line hits to call here b1 next up next to a2 passing through c and measuring out 14.5 at this point 14.5 faint line i'll call here b2 this point here b2 right i have two points now next up a3 passes through c measuring out 14.5 this is here faint line um call here b3 this point point b3 this b2 this b1 and show those points are bold enough so you can see them um a4 passes through c measuring 14.5 at this point 14.5 i'll draw it this way here is what b4 next up b5 a5 per se you get b5 passing through point c 14.5 at this point faint line um taking this part here is b5 next up a6 passing through point c um 14.5 is at this point faint line down call here b6 next up a7 passing through c a7 pass through c 14.5 at this point i'll call here b7 per se then also a8 passing through c a8 passes through c 14.5 is at this point i'll call here my b8 next up right as you can see what i'm doing um next up my next tax here is that um move to a9 pass to point c um touching to point five at this point i call this this is my b9 second to the last 14.5 at this point right to point c to this point i'll call here b10 this b9 next up finally i'll have a11 pass to c a11 to c touches 14.5 at this point here is my um, B11. So, with that, my friend call, I will join this point to get that. So, join points, right? If I join points together, I'll have something of this nature. Alright, let's start with this. Start with this. Join these two together first. this um, next up this to this I call this as you can see what I'm doing um, next up I can just Right. Um, next up, just um, take this this way, and um, can just uh, take this together. 
mana i have this and um, just try to join this see if you get that this can easily erase this part away no need of where's my b wait so here is what we are asked to produce as you can see in front of you if you have found this video helpful do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like thank you welcome to wise link academy um, in our next class, I want to move to several problems involving link mechanism. Thanks for watching.